We're here in a 54 by 500 foot tunnel ventilated broiler house. The house has uh, 14 tunnel fans and approximately 110 feet of pad on each side of the house at the front of the house. There's no birds in the house and we're just doing a quick check of air velocity and static pressure in the house with all the fans running. Right now the static pressure according to the controller which is located in the middle of the house is running up about a 0.18 which seems high. But the question is, is it high? Or is it normal for this house when all the fans are running? We can measure the amount of work required to pull the air from outside to any point we're standing in the house by using a simple pressure gauge. We're right up here, halfway down the length of the tunnel opening, and we have two pressure gauges that are gonna give us the pressure required to pull the air through the pad and the amount of pressure required to pull it through the pad and this relatively small tunnel opening. This tunnel opening is 38 inches and the pads are about five feet tall. So the work required to pull the air through the pads is about a 0 0.06, 0 0.07. It's a little high because the pads are dirty. The, pad, the pressure required to pull it through the pad and the small tunnel opening is about a 0 0.08. So, it takes about six points of pressure, six, seven points of pressure to pull it through the pads, another two points of pressure to pull it through this relatively small tunnel opening, giving us a total of about a 0.08. To, so for the fans to pull the air from outside through the pad, through the 38 inch tunnel opening is about a 0 0.08, 0.09 pressure. Right now we're standing about 20 feet past the end of the pads and we're measuring the amount of pressure required to, for the fans to pull the air through the pads, through the smaller tunnel opening and now into the cross-sectional area of the house. On most modern houses the pad area is about twice what the cross-sectional area of the house is. And so taking all that air and cramming it into this smaller opening, so like a funnel, causes a substantial increase in pressure. For instance in this case we were about a 0.08 back there at the pads to pull the air into the house. Now we're sitting at about a 0 0.14, 0 0.15 pressure. So roughly it takes six, seven points to pull through the pads, another two points to pull through the smaller tunnel opening, getting us up to a 0 0.08, 0 0.09. And then to pull in the cross the next area of the house, we're adding about another six or seven points of pressure onto that bringing the total again to about a 0 0.14, 0 0.15 pressure just to get the air right here. But the work isn't over because the fans have to pull the air all the way to the rear of the house. Now we're back here by the tunnel fans, about 20 feet from the tunnel fans, and we have another pressure gauge that is measuring the amount of pressure that the fans have to work against to pull the air through the pad, through the tunnel door opening, into the cross-section area of the house, and all the way down here, the 500 feet or so, to the fans. Here, the pressure's running about a 0 0.20, 0 0.21 at the fans. That is the actual pressure they are working against. It's a little bit higher than it was in the middle of the house because we have to pull the air down another about 250 foot of house, which causes an increase in pressure. So in this house, the pressure the fans are working against is about a 0.21. So the static pressure in this house measured at the fans, which is the total static pressure is around a 0 0.20, 0 0.21. Is that high? No, it isn't high. The pads aren't restricted. The pad pressure is only a 0.06. The fact is with high air speeds come high static pressure. Again, this house has an air speed of 800 feet per minute. And it takes a lot of work for those fans to pull the air down this house at such a high air speed. With a lower air speed, 500 feet per minute, we might only have about a 0.1 static pressure. But the thing to keep in mind, one of the prices we pay for high air velocities is we're going to have high static pressures. And when you're looking at air speeds of seven, 800 feet per minute, 
the normal static pressure with everything running right is going to be between a 0.15 to a 